G'day guys, I'm Ragnarok. I'm going to show you where I farm my Widow Bloom. This herb sells for higher than any other herb in my server, as it's arguably one of the hardest ones to farm. However, I've found a nice little spot where the respawn rate is high and the area is quite small, so you simply do some laps and gather every herb you see. You'll also collect a decent amount of Death Blossom and Nightshade in this area. You gather this herb in the old Revendreth on the peninsula to the south. There is a flight path right next to it called Wayne Crypt Hill, so it's easy to get to. You then go across the bridge and stay on the peninsula. You do laps, but mainly stay on the middle path as you can see all the herb nodes on your minimap, making it easy to spot the herbs when they respawn. This is best done as a guardian druid in travel form as you can't be dazed or dismounted. You can have a friend ride on your back who can also pick herbs so you can make gold together and enhance your friendship. If you don't have a druid, or a druid friend, you can use the sky golem mount to herb while mounted, however you are prone to daze and dismounts by mobs. If your class has a tanking spec, go into the tank spec while you herb so you can get the daze immunity. Leather workers can also make anti-daze consumables. I'm a tauren so I can gather herbs fast, but you can get the shadowlands gathering enchant for your gloves to increase your gathering speed so you can herb as fast as a tauren no matter what race you play. Paladins and Death Knights in tank specs on the Sky Golem are also great as they get the 20% increased mount speed plus immunity to daze. The reason Widow Bloom is so valuable is because it's used to make flasks and agility potions which are both in high demand. Widow Bloom is quite scarce so it's not the most common herb to stumble upon, and Revendreth isn't the easiest zone to run around due to its many gates, cliffs and big scary mobs. So because it's more challenging to gather, the less supply there is of this herb, thus increasing its value. So give this farm spot a try and let me know how you go in the comments. If you want to see more of my farming guides, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the videos when I upload them. Thanks for watching guys, this is Ragnarok and I'll see you next time.